welcome back to my channel. I think this is becoming a norm of me coming on here looking so rough, like with my hair up and my headband on. But it's not going to get much better today because today's video is all about how I shave my face. Now, I've gotten a ton, ton of questions about this on Instagram when I talk about or I mention that I dermaplaned my face. So years ago when I would get facials on the regular, I would usually get like some form of microdermabrasia or, um, or just a regular facial and they always, always dermaplane. Which what that means is they take a razor and the razor that they usually take looks something kind of like this. And I'm going to tell you a little bit more about those razors in a minute. But, and they just kind of remove the peach fuzz from your face. Well, there's different ways that you can remove the peach fuzz. Um, I have used, I have dermaplaned. I have also used the Sally Hansen hair remover. Both work good. The hair remover probably gets you a little bit closer, I would say, um, of a removal. It's a, um, it gets the hair off kind of like, a, I guess I should say a little bit deeper than actually doing the razor, the dermaplaning. Now, the dermaplaning also is a great exfoliator. Um, it really removes um, kind of some dead skin cells. Now, you need to be extremely careful when you do this. Um, I have cut my face before, I'm not going to lie. It's difficult to cut your face, though. I'm going to tell you that. It's incredibly difficult. Um, I cut my face because I really was just haphazardly, I don't even think I was in front of a mirror. I was just going kind of crazy, and boom, I just have a little nick. And it wasn't bad. It was just a slight little nick. It wasn't like when a man shaves or anything like that. Um, I get questions, too, if you do this, does your hair grow back faster? I don't think so. I haven't noticed that. But what does it really matter? You've got to get this hair off. I mean, you know, my I'm lucky because my mother is the hair police. I mean, she will tell you in a second, like I will get a text from her that will say, you look absolutely fabulous today, but remove your hair off your face tonight. So she does it very nicely. Like she will say, she'll start off with a compliment, but then she will basically say, you had a beard today. So get that, go in there and do what you need to do and get that hair off. Um, I never, ever look at my mother and think that because she is on it. I mean, she is getting her hair off her face. And I think that is what makes her not one of the reasons that makes her not look her age. Because I feel like women, when they start letting, as you age, the hair on your face becomes more pronounced. Okay, let's just be honest. And that is something that ages you. Also, your foundation doesn't go on as well. It doesn't go on as smooth. Your makeup doesn't look as good. Um, not only that, but your skincare. I mean, it's I mean, if you have a layer of hair, and I'm feeling mine right now because I have that layer of hair on your face, your skincare is, of course, cannot penetrate the way it should. I mean, that's just a given. Um, for those of you out there who are like me, who have sensitivity, I mean, I'm going to be honest, I just woke up. I thought I would come on here and do this immediately. I have not washed my face. I still have the skincare on from last night. I'm just going to go in and do it um, kind of fresh face like this, and then I'm going to follow up with my skincare because I know that... I am going to be incredibly red. This makes me go red. I have sensitive skin. Um, you can kind of see where I'm, I have some redness already. I have incredibly sensitive skin, and my skin just doesn't like this. My skin doesn't like the Sally Hansen either. My skin basically is telling me, I like hair. I want the hair to stay on your skin because I like it. Well, tough. And the redness will go down. Sometimes I go redder than others. Um, today I'll probably go really red because I'm doing this on camera, but um, it's something that just has to be done. I mean, you know, as women, we just, 
you just have to get rid of the hair. I'm sorry. The worst thing is when I am, I see women out and like the sun hits the side of their face and it's just glowing with hair. I mean, I'm sorry. It just, it really just is not an attractive look. So you really want to get this hair off. Plus, I mean, it takes no time you're going to see. It's not something tedious. If you are afraid of it, if you're afraid of the razor, you're going to get over that. I'm just going to be honest. Um, but let's talk about the razor. Now you can get these all over the place. I actually found a pack at TJ Maxx for like $2.99, a pack of three. Not, I mean like last weekend, I think. There also is I, and I saw it yesterday in Target, there's one of these mechanical ones that actually has a light on it that you can use. I've had that one before, it's fine. I really prefer the disposable one. I usually use either one or two of these and do my whole face with it. Um, where I get mine, you can get them at Sally's Beauty. I know I've seen them there, but I just order mine on Amazon and I'm gonna try to find them and link them below but mine are actually called the Tinkle Eyebrow Razor for beautiful eyebrows and this is what it looks like so um, I and yes I actually use these to shape up my eyebrows and I may do that today I haven't really decided yet if I need to do my eyebrows or not but um, I don't go get my eyebrows sculpted and the reason being is because I have naturally thick eyebrows. If I didn't do anything, my whole forehead would be an eyebrow. But I have found that when I go get my eyebrows done, they try to thin them and make them look not the way I want them to look. Let's say over the past year to year and a half, I've been doing my eyebrows myself and I've been pretty happy with it. Um, I never had a place that I just absolutely loved. I've thought about there's a brow bar not too far from me. And I've thought about, well, actually it is. It's about 15 minutes. But I've thought about trying that out. But I just haven't gotten around to it yet. I'm going to be honest. So um, I'm still just kind of doing my eyebrows myself. But um, so enough talking about that. If you have any questions about that, that about, ugh, about this process, you can link them below. I will try to answer them. Um, but I'm going to zoom in really close. We're about to get real close, up close and personal, and you are going to see how I shave my face. Here we go. Okay, like I said, we were about to be really up close and personal. I have my mirror over here, and I'm actually going to scoot it in. I was hoping you couldn't see it, and you can't see it, because I'm probably going to have to go in some, but if you see me looking here, it's because I'm looking at my mirror. Um, I have my Tinkle Razor. It comes with this cap. I'm taking it off and I usually start up here and you just go in a downward and I take little strips and you just go in a downward um, fashion. But I, I don't know if you can see, but I can definitely see the hairs just kind of flying off okay and so the hair is all over this um razor so i'm gonna take and wipe that off and i'm gonna take a rag and just kind of get any excess hair and i'm just starting back I find is incredibly difficult to do it's very easy to do like this straight area when you get around the curves it's not that easy I'm just gonna be honest so you have to pay a little bit more attention and I go down because I have hair all down here again it's like a beard y'all and under these lights I can really see it. <laughs> it doesn't hurt. It just feels like scraping. And I'm going to be honest, I can see dead skin. It kind of is making me stop and think, like, what am I doing in my skincare? Because I can see some dead skin coming off with it on this razor.
and you see how red I've gotten there. Okay, so now I'm gonna go around my mouth and I found this to be honestly the hardest. And y'all, I'm not gonna lie, I just flipped my mirror around to the like magnifying because let's really get in and get this out. Okay, now that it's pretty much done, I'm gonna take my hands and just kind of feel and see if I missed any major spots. I kind of feel like I did right here. So I'm gonna take that, really go. And you can see, like I have gone, oh and I feel some right there. You can see I've gone pretty red here, here, um, around here. So what I usually do is a pretty soothing skincare routine after this. A lot of, most of the times I do this at night. I did it this morning. That might have been a huge mistake. But um, I will do a very, very soothing routine. Um, and probably with some balm. I will put some balm. I may put some balm on just to let it sit. I'll probably use my bedrock balm that I'm loving. I'm probably going to go in and put some right there. Actually, one second. Okay, so I will go in in just a little bit, um, probably about 30 minutes to an hour, and do my morning skincare. And I plan to do like a sheet mask and be very soothing. But just for right now, I was sent this. This is the Bedrock Balm, and I will list it down below. And I was sent this complimentary um, to try out. And y'all, I've really found that it helps well. It does really well. It's just a, it's like a solid, and I just rub my fingers in it. And I'm just gonna put that on that redness um, just until I, um, just until I do my skincare. But this is, um, the main ingredient is zinc and it's good for redness and I have really found that it really does help with my redness. So I'm just going to kind of take this as kind of a soothing agent on that redness. The main ingredient is zinc and it's good for redness and I have really found that it really does help with my redness. So I'm just going to kind of take this as kind of a soothing agent on that redness. So yeah, this is how I go about getting rid of my facial hair.